Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from Divine by Design. Today I'm going to be showing you some different lace effect hand painted nails. Make can use shellac or any other gel polish that you choose or even nail polish to achieve these effects. And I'm just going to show you three different designs for lace effect. The first one I'm going to show you is one I used on a bride of mine earlier this year, which we custom created to go with the colour theme of her wedding. To start this I've applied one layer of base coat, cured, one layer of cityscape and cured, and now we're ready to go in and apply our lace. To start our lace design I'm going to be using a striping brush, I will put a link in the description to the types of brushes that I purchase, but what I do with all of them once I've purchased them, I don't know if you can see this, but I cut half the bristles off, so that it's a much thinner brush. Onto a used plastic back pad, and the links are in the description for those. I have applied some black pool, which is just a black shellac. We're going to just draw the striping brush through the shellac to fully coat all the bristles. And we're just going to go across the nail as though you were drawing a French. And the best method for using a striping brush, as you can probably see, is once you apply it to the nail, keep it firmly on the nail and guide it across. If you try to dilly-dally with the end of the tip, it will cause a, a wiggly line. Now again, we're going to take our striping brush, just load up again, and we're going to do some crisscross designs. And now we're going to go back in the other direction. And you can see we've got a beautiful fine almost fishnet effect. And now it's time to go in with a fine detailing brush and we're going to produce semicircles. Now I always recommend to everybody to start at the centre of the nail when they're doing this otherwise it can look out of balance if you start at one side over here and realise you end up with a half of a circle on the other side so it's best to start at the centre. And once you've finished the basic design you're going to need a dotting tool and we're going to go the medium end first and just apply a dot at the centre of your arches and then again where each of the lines cross over. Now with your absolute finest dotting tool, we're going to apply some detailing to the arches. Don't load it up too much because you want these to stay fine little points. And now you're ready to cure that in your lamp for two minutes. Now that's cured, you've either got an option where you can just top coat it, which is what I'm going to do, but if you really did want to add something extra to this, you have the options of where these small dots are. You could put crystals instead and you could do them along the centre. But I like the way this one looks just as it is, so I'm going to top coat. Now that's cured, all we have left to do is remove the sticky top film. And there is the finished look. Absolutely beautiful. And so easy to achieve. Now I'm going to show you a couple of other designs that you can easily achieve too. The next look I'm going to produce for you with lace is a tiara lace effect which is very reminiscent of the Frozen movie and for this look I've started with base coat and two layers of silver chrome each of which have been cured. On your used plastic back pad decant some black pool and start with your striping brush again pulling through the shellac or your gel polish and we're aiming to produce a centre point from your cuticle area, roughly about here. If it's not quite dark enough, go over it again. And produce the same style point, but slightly lower down the nail. Now we're going to take our fine detail brush and produce an arch that goes from the centre of this point to the centre of this one. Mm -hmm. 
and the same on the other side. And just make sure that those are symmetrical. We're going to take our long striping brush again, and again going from the centre at each of the points, which is going to add one more little triangle peak. Now you need to take a fine dotting tool and we're going to apply little dots over our arches. Now you have an option at this point. You can either add additional dots to each of these peaks here or you can cure it to top coat and add crystals, which is what I'm going to do. But just to show you what it would look like. And now that's ready to cure for two minutes. Now we've cured our lace design, we're ready to go in with our top coat. And once we've applied the top coat, I'm going to take some SS3 sized Swarovski crystals, and these are AB crystals, and I am picking them up with a specialist gem picker pencil, the link for which will be in the description of the video. And we're going to place those onto those points in the top coat. Now normally if I'm applying the crystals I wouldn't have bothered applying the dots underneath on the peaks, but I've done that just to demonstrate to you that you have an option between the two. We're now going to decant some top coat onto a plastic back pad and just run a little bit of it around the base of each crystal to keep them held in place for the two weeks. And now that's ready to cure. Now that our top coat is cured, we're ready to go in with our pad, lightly dampened with isopropyl alcohol. And just remove that sticky top film. And there is our frozen tiara inspired lace nail art. I think this is my absolute favourite of the lace. It's just so classy. It shows how simple just a few strokes on the nail can be at producing something really effective. Okay, for my final lace look, I'm going to show you a very simple white French effect that can be used on much shorter nails, so somebody doesn't have to have really long nails to be able to have lace. As long as there's just a tiny amount of free edge, you'd be able to pull off this design very easily. Now to start, I've applied my base coat and cured, and one layer of nude knickers and cured. I am using CND shellac, but you can use whichever brand of gel polish that you prefer. You can just look for a similar colour. To start I've decanted some white, this is cream puff in shellac, onto a plastic back pad and with a clean striping brush just pull your brush through the polish. We're going to go very close to that free edge and apply a line. Now the best way to get a nice even straight line that hasn't got any wobbles or dents in it is to evenly load up the brush like I have here. Start on one side, make sure that the polish is evenly distributed across the brush. Apply to the nail and then put down quite flat and then draw across. If it is thicker on one side than the other like it is here, just pull that excess polish across too. If you did end up with that line just being too deep or fatter than you'd rather like it to be, take a brush which you can go along lightly dampened with isopropyl alcohol and just pull off that excess. Now take your striping brush again, starting at the centre, we're just going to create some triangles with zigzag lines. Then you're just going to need your fine detail brush. Again start at the centre of the nail, but produce a much shallower arch this time. If the person has got longer nails you can produce a deeper arch if you choose. So here I'm just producing a shallower arch either side of the main arch. You could do them all the same height if you prefer. Then we're going to go in with our fine dotting tool and just add our little dots along the outside of those arches. And then for something a little bit different, go in between the triangles to create a more delicate effect. Now we're ready to cure that in our lamp. Once you've cured your lace and your lamp, you're ready to top coat.
Now you could leave that just as it is, but I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to it just because I do love a bit of sparkle. And these are the Shrosky SS3 Crystal OBs. I will put a link in the description as to where you can purchase these. And again, just get your fine detail brush and add some top coat around the base of those crystals just to hold them in place. And give that a cure in your lamp for two minutes. And once you've cured your top coat, you're ready to go in with a pad lightly dampened with isopropyl alcohol and remove that sticky top film. And there we have the finished look. And here we have a finished look at all three designs. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It's been one of my most requested since I started uploading lace nail art online. If you'd like to see more videos, please remember to subscribe. If you want to find me online, I'm on Facebook on www facebook.com forward slash divine by design cnd nails on twitter it's divine by design one on instagram it's divine by design beauty on pinterest it's xdbdx and my website for the salon is www.divinebydesignbeauty.com and my new beauty and lifestyle blog will be coming soon on www.natashalee.info if you're inspired by any of my video tutorials and want to try out the designs yourself, please feel free to hashtag InspiredByDBD. Thanks very much.